Okay. Okay, so I see you've been practicing. Michelle. <laughs> okay. So let's just start with doing some just just doing some beats. So once you start getting the beat, try to do it exactly at the same time as me. So the most important thing is just keeping keeping this hand doing the same thing that I'm doing. And if you feel good with that, like you can do it at the exact same time as me, then start adding this stuff with this hand. If but only if you feel comfortable with doing this. exactly the same time as me. So try to keep that. But if you think you can add stuff with the other hand, then try that. But if that but if doing stuff with the other hand starts to mess you up, then, then don't. So something I noticed that you started doing is like when you were doing this and when I started adding the other things, instead of just moving this hand and keeping this hand doing the same thing, which was which was what I was doing, you started going like like that kind of doing more with this hand. So once you get much better at drumming, you can start, you know, adding that stuff in. But for right now, just keep just keep this hand doing the same thing. Because this is keeping your beat, and if you start doing other things with this hand, then your beat will just go off. Do you remember how to hold it? Stick your thumbs through, mix these fingers up here so they can make more noise. So try to do the exact thing as me. Try doing the exact same thing as me. Let's try another one. So one thing, one thing that I do a lot, and that that I think is important about drumming, is being able to hear a beat, and then doing the same thing as that, even if you don't know the beat, even if you're not used to it, which is basically what I, what I did when I was learning. But once you start learning beats, it, get, it gets harder. So I think it's important to keep like to keep that skill fresh, so you don't get stuck on a few beats and you're not able to do other things. So I'm so, I'm, and that's why I'm switching around different beats a lot. So, by the way, um, at home, um, practice, practice these beats so you get good at them. You can play, play them well. Okay, here's another one.
inshallah more people come. <laughs> you get a completely private lesson. All of, all of the people here, except for your brother and Omar, are doing the class. Aren't doing the class, so it's a completely private lesson. <laughs> okay. Well, let's keep on doing more beats. He wants to record it. Yeah. Well, let's continue. Okay. So this one, this one, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm do it for a while. So just listen and try to do exactly what I'm doing. That one's kind of complicated. So just start with this. Wait. Wait. That one doesn't exactly correlate, I guess. Wait. The doom it can be here. I'm I'm just doing this to show him, like this is the boom. This is because if I do it kind of like like you'll still get that same sound if you do it here. But I'm but I'm making it more more obvious. Yeah. So that one is complicated. Be I'm not expecting you. I'm I'm not asking you to get it the the first try. That one took me a while before it clicked and I could do it. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to do something. I'm just going to start with just a... And then all I'm going to be doing is just doubling that. So instead of one, it's going to be... So I'm going to do that. I'm going to start with a slow one and then do that one double as fast and double as fast. And... We're just gonna we're gonna do that for a while to just set the beat in.
this one, it's so fast, you have to use the other hand. You did very well. Okay. So that, if you just kind of do the, you just gotta do that, but instead of just doing the outside and doing like inside and stuff, you can, you, you basically build a beat, from, you basically build a beat from that. So let's, let's do more of the same thing. slower so you can watch my hand better. I'll be careful. When I um when I tap like this, wait, this hand or this hand? This hand. With this one, um, you can do full hand, but I kind of like to do just one finger if like it, if I'm if I'm not doing it too loud and stuff because it gives a clearer note. Yeah, but learning how to do your finger and like. Stopping your hand, letting your finger, just your finger slap down, it's hard, so just starting with, with the full hand, yeah, you can do that.
I'm doing with you is drumming, and then and then just like you know, I kind of you know I taught you how to hold it, and I'm drumming with you, and and, and you try to copy what I'm doing, and that's pretty much how I learned, except without you know with someone without so much instruction, like the, that's basically what I was doing during the mount like during mountains and things. I would just hear them doing the beats and thinking, just thinking I can do that and start like doing it on my leg or. And then when I got home trying to replicate those beats, and I got a few wrong, you know, they were off beat or I did an extra note or something. But I eventually learned like how to do how to do the beats, and now I drum out those same ballads. Okay, let's try let's try another one. Wait, so how, wait, how fast can you move your hand on the drum, like? Like basically the fastest I can go is like kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. I do the same thing. You know, you know, before, if I did this for too long, doing this hand, this hand is to get so sore. So, 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 um, please, please tell me if, like, I'm, I'm doing something fast and it's hard for you to keep up because you're getting, because you, because your muscles are getting tired, or I'll move something slower. No. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. <laughs> So, <laughs> okay, so now do four beats and do, do four beats on the edge in like, and like pretty much any, any distance apart, um, any time distance apart, you know, like, or like just, just four hits and I'm going to try to copy them and I'll see how I can copy them. That was it for that was three. So try to try to mix it up too, like try to go. So you can see the difference in just just four beats on the edge, how different they can sound. <clears throat> so pay attention to to the different dis to different to time between between beats because that is very very important.
so the thing with um, one person doing the beat and everyone else copying it is more relevant with, or it does better with more people. But, <clears throat> but that's still very important, being able to copy something exact, something exactly as you hear. Like, like instead of just doing four beats on the side, doing it in the right time that you heard. Like doing it, doing it at the exact same time you heard. That's also very important, being able to play when there's when there's other distractions. Because if you're in a mouth or something, your little brother comes up and starts banging on your drum, which he has. You don't want to be you don't want to mess up the beat. But still, it takes it takes a lot of practice to not stop when your little brother comes and starts banging on your drum. <laughs> what was I gonna do? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing a beat and singing to it. So try to do something. Try to do something that fits, even if you can't do the whole beat. Like just like like even if it's just just something like that. Like try to do something that fits the beat. It doesn't sound off key, even if you don't do the whole beat. Okay. I'm replicating a mallet here. The important thing, what I, what I wanted to learn, is that you know I was singing, I was you know I, I was singing drum pretty loud. But if you're drumming at a mallet, and you even do like one beat off key, you might you might mess up the singers or the other drummers, because like if if I start going and I'm singing 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 and I start going like this, you know I'm like it's hard for me to go. It's actually hard for me to go off key because I'm so used to doing it on key. But if you do a beat. If you if you do beat the wrong way, like it sends almost like a ripple effect, and it kind of and it kind of derails everyone. So then you have to stop. Then you have to stop for a, a second and go back on. So 
So when you're, so like even if you're just doing something just like this, by the way, this actually fits with the beat I was doing, just doing this. Here, do, do it. So keep on doing that while I do the other beat. So you see, it fits even if it's not the same beat. <clears throat> okay. So we should, I should be going, assalamu alaikum.